The stage is set and the tension is palpable. 90 minutes of what should be highly entertaining and absorbing football to come. And it would take a brave person indeed to predict the outcome. What an enticing prospect. And hello, wherever you happen to be, it's a fine night for football here at Wembley Stadium in London. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's England versus France. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And France pushing forward with options available. Top class defending. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford is the keeper. John Stone starts alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Jordan Henderson starts alongside Jude Bellingham in the centre of midfield. And the focal point in attack today, Harry Kane. Here's the side France will go with. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Kylian Mbappe starts with Kingsley Coman in the wide positions. And the starting role in attack is handed to Olivier Giroud. And back with Coman. Can they forge ahead? Great defending. Harry Kane. Here's Luke Shaw. Maguire. Jack Grealish composed and patient passing but then the commentator's curse comes into play Radio Chouameni pass from Kerman might be productive Jack Grealish And a throw coming up after a really fine piece of tackling. Declan Rice. Harry Maguire now. Rice with it. Here's Luke Shaw. Declan Rice. Now Harry Kane. Walker. Well, as the stats confirm, the game hasn't got going so far and the attacking play from both sides has been really poor. But some credit must go to the defenders because they've dominated here today. And with that, the first half comes to an end here at Wembley Stadium. Well, he was one of their better players in the first half but needed to be better still. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, he didn't contribute enough in that first half. I think he needs to work harder to get on the ball. He was far too static. In my view, he's got to make more runs behind this back line in the second half. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Grealish over the touchline for what will be a France throw Coman Jonathan Close a very good tackle and Bellingham the supporters want to see him have a go
chance how to dispossess your opponent. Olivier Giroud. Jonathan Close. Return to Coman. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Bukayo Saka. And Bellingham. Kane. Just wasn't going to part with the ball. Rice. His determination there for all to see. And Bellingham. Oh, danger here to put them ahead. And a good take under duress there. Aurelien Chouameni. He's given it away. Declan Rice. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Henderson. And France with the ball again. Mbappe. Angles it back. Oh, great defending. Coman. Not giving him a moment's peace. Well, having won it back high up, what can they do next? Well, a deft clearance. Corner conceded. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Griezmann tasked with taking the corner. And the danger cleared. Here's Luke Shaw. Rice with it. Pressure applied. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Foden. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level. And extra time is coming up. 